Hi, and welcome to this video cast about MySQL in ADB cluster. My name is Miguel Araujo, and I'll give you a quick overview about a typical in ADB cluster deployment and show you how to get started with it. Recently, we have released MySQL 80GA, and together with it, we've also released MySQL in ADB cluster 80GA, the second GA release of our native, full stack, high availability solution. InnoDB Cluster provides an out-of-the-box and easy-to-use built-in HA and scaling solution for MySQL. And it does it by integrating three MySQL components, MySQL Server with Group Application, MySQL Shell, and MySQL Router. On the background, you can see how does a typical InnoDB Cluster deployment looks like. So starting from the bottom, we have the MySQL servers running Group Application to provide data replication and the base for high availability and high performance scale out. Group Replication is a plugin that provides an highly available replicated database and it does it by implementing virtually synchronous replication by using a group communication system. So servers in Group Replication are parts of groups and the notion of group is kept by all the members of the group. So every server knows which servers are part of the group, which ones left, join, failures and so on. This is all managed automatically, so it also provides automatic group reconfiguration. However, to fully leverage the powerful capabilities of group replication, you need technical knowledge of it, and also to use or develop scripts and tools to manage it. It's not that easy. But MySQL Shell overcomes the usability issues of it by providing an API to create and manage in ADB clusters, the admin API. As you probably know, the shell main goal is to provide a natural interface for all DevOps tasks related to MySQL, becoming the unified interface for both developers and DBAs. With that in mind, we've created the admin API to allow you to set up, orchestrate, and manage in ADB clusters, but of course, without sacrificing the power, flexibility, or security of it. And finally, to hide the multiple instances of a cluster behind the TCP port for writes and another one for reads, and to handle the connections to the servers in a completely transparent fashion, we have MySQL Router. The router provides you transparent routing between your clients and the right in ADB cluster server instances.